Hello, loves. Welcome back to another vlog. I just wanted to come in and introduce the vlog today. I'm going to be going to breakfast with my nephew. And I figured why not just sit down and have you guys get ready with me. I have my mirror here so I can see myself. I'm not sure if I've ever gotten ready on camera before. Probably once and it was treacherous. But I'm going to try this time. Today is going to be like damn near 100 degrees so it's hot as hell so i'm gonna do very minimal makeup pretty much what i always do anyway but i'm gonna try to set it this time because my face has been getting greasy okay like what the heck so already moisturized my face i use just a regular olay moisturizer and i put on my sunscreen already i use super group you guys can see so the first thing i'm gonna do i saw lori harvey do this on her vogue segment so what she does she used some powder first. Excuse the noise if you hear me. They're loud as hell as usual. So I'm going to start off with the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. And this color is in Translucent Honey. So what she did, she took a powder brush and she just... brushed it over her face a little bit. Put this down. It gets a little messy. skin together as you guys know so if I look crazy this will not be going up so there that powder is on so then next she took some setting pout some setting spray and what I'm gonna be using is the Urban Decay All Nighter this stuff really does keep your face really matte and in place in the wintertime it dries my skin up but for now summertime like this I'm gonna need this and just spray it let it set so first I'm gonna go in with my NARS concealer and it is in the color medium dark 2 in caramel and I suppose just a little bit under my eyes just a little bit just to make it a little bright and I take just a tad bit start lightly So guys, while I'm doing this, let me know, how have you been? What's been going on? What's new? Are you excited for the summer? Because I am. I just feel more happy, less depressed from the horrible weather. And finally, the weather is breaking. I'd rather 100 degree weather than 40 degree weather when it should be springtime, to be quite honest. I have been back in the gym working out consistently. I never really stopped, stop, but I wasn't going consistently. I've been doing about three days a week and I'm trying to get up to about four because the amount of fat on my back is not okay. So I haven't really been recording too much because when I'm at the gym, I look crazy. Like crazy, crazy. So I'm gonna set under my eye with some more of the powder. Actually, let me get my sponge, hold on. So I just tap the sponge, just the regular little wedges, old school wedges, and just tap it under my eye. Press it, just to set it a little bit, just so it doesn't crease. So yeah, I've been in the gym. I know a lot of people have been doing Pilates since Lori Harvey has said that's what she does to get her abs because everyone's seen her abs at the Met Gala. And I did go to Club Pilates and tried out their introductory class just to see how it was and I really, really liked it. It's a little pricey. Eventually I'm gonna sign up because I love it. But Lori was on TikTok and she said exactly what she did to drop her weight and to get all toned and whatnot. And then, which I knew could it had to be more than Pilates. She had to have been incorporating the gym and like some weight training. And then the girl started spazzing out on her, saying how she's fat phobic and all this kind of stuff. I'm like, the girl is saying what she did to lose weight. Everyone's body is different. This is why I like sort of toned down on, I'm gonna brush the powder away. I'll only let it sit for a little bit. 
I'm gonna be all over the place and chit chat and stuff. Yeah, everyone's body type is so different and what works for one person may not work for the other. So, and she did put a disclaimer, do what works for you. See like a trainer or a doctor or someone or a nutritionist just to see like what will work specifically for you. But I don't understand how people are coming for her when they asked. Like what about her saying what she did is fat phobic? Like I just feel like because she's telling people that she actually did the work in order to get her body that way is what upset people. So now I'm gonna go back in with my Lancome foundation. It's in 460 Suede W. I don't know if you guys can see, but that's what it is. Yeah, I feel like because she told people that to do the work is what is upsetting people. She says she gained happy weight when she got with Michael, which is normal. Mostly everyone does. I also understand why everything has to be so politicized and have this academic response to it of why this is problematic and why that is prob problematic. Just don't do what she did. What may work for your body type is not going to work for hers. Now, I feel like a lot of people project and place their insecurities on other people. The girl barely talks as it is, and when she does, it's like, oh my god. If she said an easy way out, then everyone would have been here for it, to be quite honest. And that's just my humble opinion. It's just really annoying. That's why like, I'm so like in between when it comes to social media. You really can't have an opinion, even if you're just saying what works for you. <sighs> that was my little rant, because that really annoyed me. Like, really, really annoyed me. That's why I stopped, like I said, that's what I was saying earlier. I'm like chit-chatting. I'm like rambling all over the place. I don't really post too much about me at the gym. I don't really talk to people about me working out, because I always get the, what are you working out for? You don't, like. First of all, people don't understand, like, everyone's comfortable with their body in a specific way. What you may be comfortable with gaining a few pounds here and there, I may not be comfortable with gaining a few pounds here and there. Like, just let people do what they want to do. And healthy, skinny does not mean healthy. I can't walk up a flight of steps, so that's why I want to be, I want to stay active, so. I just can't be bothered with people and their opinions, so. I just do me, I don't want to talk about it anymore, unless you ask me. But don't come and tell me I don't need to be working out. Yes, I do. Leave me alone. Okay, I put on the foundation and now I'm gonna set with this light reflecting setting power again, setting powder from NARS. Just a little light dusting because like I said, I get a little, I get a lot of greasy. Just like that. Like I just want a really natural put together look. That's it, just a light dusting. So then, I usually like to just go around and sort of balance everything out with this Sun Power Mineralized Skin Finish Powder from MAC. Just a little bit. Like, you don't really see it too much. Let me get a brush. Just sort of blend everything out. It's a little bronzy. I just feel like it warms my face up a little bit. I look cute. <laughs> and then I'm gonna go in just a little bit of a darker bronzer. This is Sephora Bronzed. It's in Mykonos. And it's a matte bronzer, which I tend to like more of a glowy bronzer like that one that I have from MAC, but I'm just going to go in a little bit with this one. Just around my cheekbones here. Just, just add a little bit more warmth. Okay. Now, the blush, which is my favorite part. I'm not sure if I want to go in with this Anastasia or if I want to do. <sighs> so I like putting on my blush with this Morphe brush. So this palette, I believe it's still available. Berry Adore is the name of this blush trio. So I just like to tap both colors. This 
middle one, like sort of pinky and this orangey one. And just tap it off like that. I'm just lightly go on the apples of my cheeks. And I use a little bit on my nose. It gives a really pretty flushed look. And I use the other side and just blend everything out. This stuff is really pigmented, so. Hopefully I'm not looking like a clown on camera. And then I'll just go back in with my powder brush and just blend everything back out. Okay, so now with this Anastasia highlighter palette, it's that glow, that one, it's like the darker one. I like to go in with golden bronze and dripping in gold, these two here, just a little bit. It's on my nose, above my lip, nothing crazy. And another Morphe brush. So I'll do both. I like to highlight above my lip. I don't know why. It just looks glowy that way. And it's a little bit under my eyebrows too. Just a little bit. Even though I'm putting on wearing sunglasses. I am not a makeup girl, so if I block my face this whole time, I am sorry. All right, so next, Normally I would do something a little glowy, like a setting spray, but I'm just gonna go back in with the all-nighter and just spray my face again. All right, that's it. And then, let me see, what's next? I'm not in the mood for eyeshadow, because normally I just do like a normal, like a natural brown, or I'll just use my bronzer and just put on my eyes. I'm just gonna do simple mascara, and then we'll get into the lip. Okay guys, so I did my mascara off camera. I did a little bit of highlight to the inner corners. I don't know if you can see it or not. Just to, for a little bit more brightness. And I did my lip gloss and my lipstick. So, I didn't use my go-to cork. This time I used chestnut to line my lips. Then I went in with taupe, which is my go-to lipstick. And then I added Fenty Glow on top from Fenty Beauty. It gives me those luscious lips. You know, first, not all, natural. It's like, just open. I'm just gonna finish getting ready. And I will show you guys my outfit. I'm just gonna put on like a dress or something. Just something easy, cause it's hot as hell. I'm not trying to bun up outside in this heat. And yeah, I will show you guys the finished look. Be right back. Okay guys, so I'm back, so I'm dressed. I'm trying to see if I can get like a full length of what I'm wearing. So I have on this like sort of cardigan jacket blazer. It's not really a blazer. It's like a sweater with sequins. I had this a part of my line is vintage when I was selling my vintage clothing. But I kept it for myself. This, um, this is just like a crop top. I don't even know where I got this from. It could be from Zara back in the day or maybe H&M. I don't know. These are the new Zara shorts that I showed you guys in my last vlog here. You guys can see. I was going to take them back, but I decided to keep them. I didn't really like how the butt part looked, but I think they look really put together and chic. So I'm going to just keep them, obviously. I'm wearing them now. And then on these... Black sandals with the pearl accent, if you guys can see. <laughs> I'll get a picture of something so you guys can see the full look. And then I'm just wearing these sunnies. I recently got these from Urban Outfitters. Anything that is still available, I will link below. Or if I can find a dupe or something similar, I will link them below. I love these. These are more like an ivory. Um, what's that material called? They're white, but they're also like a marble print. I can't really explain it, but I will link it down below if I can find it, cause I just bought them. I'm just gonna wear my Chanel pouch. It has all my essentials in there, it's neutral, it matches everything. I can fit my vlog camera in there, and then I should be good to go. 
So this is the partial full look, if you guys can see. <laughs> yeah, that's the best I can do, guys. When I get outside, I can show you guys a better look. So I'm about to head out the door and I'll take you guys along with me. So I will see you in a bit. Guys, it's like a thousand degrees out here. Like I'm dying. I just now drove, I've been sitting in the car for a good 30 minutes just to wait for it to cool down. I'm literally melting, okay? Thank God I sprayed my hair with that Trust Me hairspray. I'm gonna link that down below too, just so you guys have. Curls in the summertime heat, you need that hairspray, I'm serious. Here come my nephew now. Let's have a look at him. <laughs> He's about to pass out. Uh, <laughs> come, chill. Okay, I could drive off. Hi, pups. I was thinking we could um go to a brunch place in Montclair instead of like IHOP. You want to try there first? Brunch place? Yeah, in, in Montclair. They have breakfast. You gotta be hot in these pens. I'm telling you, I'm not. Gordon. Say hi to the vloggy. What's up, y'all? <laughs> this is my nephew. He has his own YouTube video. I mean, YouTube channel, right, Pops? Mm -hmm. What's up with this? So you want to try Montclair first? And if not, well, um, we'll... Let's try more. Montclair. Yeah. Okay. Let's try Montclair. All right, guys. I will see you when we get there. Ta-ta. You gonna say ta-ta? Peace out. <laughs> okay, guys. So we are here. But we ended up coming to the location in Ridgewood because it was closer. Montclair was a little bit too much of a hassle. Is it free on Sunday, Zopa? I hope. Richwood. Oh yes, it's Raymond. You want to see if we can sit outside, Paul? Huh? You don't want to sit outside? Make it a little mask. He doesn't want to sit outside. <laughs> Hi, do you have sim for two, please? I'm sorry? For two? Yeah. Please, thank you. Do you have a preference for you sit? You want to do like a booth? You want to do a booth? Do you have a booth, possibly? You all right? Yeah, as long as we... Is there anything next to a window over there? Yeah. Just I need lighting. <laughs> Thank you. All right, guys. So, give me a mask. Right, so give me a Put it to scan the menu. Did you bring the sanitizer? Did you bring the sanitizer? Scan the menu. So guys, this is the Raymond. They have a lot of fun. I'm glad we came to the location because it's not even busy. Not only it's crazy. Oh my goodness. You have a lot of stuff, right? No. You said no? I said I know. Oh. Hello. <laughs> how are you guys? How are you? Good. Do you get you guys started with anything to drink? You want to start with like orange juice or apple juice? I'll talk a little Orange juice, sure. We have a small and a large. Large, sure. Um. I don't know what I want. I'll do. I'll do water with lime. Water with lime, sure. Nice. Oh my god, hey. <laughs> Why don't you me? I didn't know you were done it. I can't believe I didn't even see it. That's so funny. I could not even see the mirror. 
So we're water. Sure, it's tap, okay? Um, do you have sparkling? Sparkling? Yeah, I can get you sparkling. Thank sure. You. Oh, who likes sparkling water? On there. Guys, look at this cute picture my nephew took of me. It's terrible. No, it's not. You did a great job. Your hair, your hair is. Stop being, stop being a hater. Oh, so you're telling me that I'm a hater? Oh, so you're telling me that I'm a hater? I, I, I post better videos than you. This angle. Look, guys. This picture looks so good. This will probably be my thumbnail. <laughs> they cut it in half. His breakfast burrito. Yeah, right. That looks good. Yeah. yeah. Right? It's just like And then my Mexican bowl. Are you recording yourself? <laughs> I have my nephew over there on camera duty. All right, guys, we are done eating. Let's see, better sun. We are on our way. You got the four. Look, our shadows. Oh my god. It is like a thousand degrees in here. I know. Ugh. Oh, leave the cold. I bet it will happen. I think I know how it happened. Oh, no, it's on the coldest right here. <sighs> All right, guys, we're on our way. Whew. I'm back. It was hot as hell today. Okay. Let me block my face because look. Don't do what I'm doing and pick up this random paper towel that you find, but I'm sweaty and greasy and oh, let me take these earbuds out of my ear. I gotta put this ear on. I'm about to, seriously, I can't do this. I gotta get some ear. So yeah, so I'm back from brunch with my nephew and I just need to... I just gotta tidy up because I done took all my makeup out. I was making TikToks and whatnot. So I'm gonna get my life together. I'm not sure. I'm not sure how long this vlog is gonna be. I may just end it today and just do it as a Sunday vlog or a weekend vlog. Let me figure it out and then I'll get back to you guys. But let me just tidy up because the amount of makeup that I'm looking at in front of me I done tore my whole makeup stuff up, okay? So give me a minute. Okay, I'm back. So I do get a lot of questions about what I use on my curls to keep them like curled and just the way they're looking fluffy and bouncy. I've shown this before in one of my videos that I did on how I get my hair like this. But people on Instagram also ask me and it is the Sebastian Shaper Zero Gravity. It is dry brushable lightweight oil control hairspray no it's dry brushable lightweight control hairspray so i love this it's definitely like there's different ones i have one that i'm not sure which level is but it's not as light as this we need the lightweight one with this sort of pink labeling here that way when you spray it you can still brush through it and your curl is going to bounce up but it's going to stay and it's been in this 100 degree weather today and i think it's pretty good so I'm getting ready to just go on Instagram and just make another post about it and then just link it so if anyone's interested, they can just directly grab it. So, hey guys, so I'm exhausted. It's starting to rain. I don't know if you guys can hear that. If you listen really closely. But I'm about to start editing this vlog. So hopefully it's up by tonight. 
I'm gonna call it a day with this vlog. So as usual, don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell just so you're notified every time I upload. Follow me on Instagram, follow me on TikTok now. And until next time, bye-bye.